Hey everyone, welcome to the desert. Can you hear the wind and see the big sand dunes? The desert is an awesome place, home to many different animals. Let's go on an adventure and see what animals we can find. Are you ready? Oh yeah! Great, let's go. Whoa, look, here's our first animal. It's a camel. Camels have big humps on their backs. These humps can store water, and when camels are thirsty, they can drink from their humps. They can go a very, very, very long time without water, sometimes even weeks because of their special humps. Camels also have long, thick eyelashes to protect their eyes from blowing sand in the desert. Isn't that cool? Awesome, let's find our next animal. Hmm, look at this cute animal. It's a meerkat. Meerkats are like little desert detectives. They stand on their back legs and look around to make sure there are no dangers nearby. They live in groups called mobs or gangs and work together to find food and keep each other safe. Meerkats are very, very social animals and they even take turns babysitting each other's babies. Isn't that cute? I love meerkats so much. Cool, let's find our next animal. Whoa. Look, this next animal is tiny, and it has a really funny name too. It's called a dung beetle. Dung beetles may seem a little bit strange, but they are like nature's recyclers. They actually roll balls of animal poop and bury them, which helps keep the desert clean. They use these dung balls as both food and a cozy home. They can lay their eggs inside of them. Dung beetles are really, really strong for their size and they can roll dung balls that are much heavier than they are. Can you imagine lifting more than your own weight? Do you think you could do it? Well, dung beetles can. Whoa, did you see that animal? It's like super, super fast. It's a road runner. Road runners are super fast birds that can run up to 20 miles per hour, which is around 32 kilometers per hour. They have really, really funny feathers on their heads that can stick up like a crest, making them look even more unique and beautiful. Roadrunners are also famous for making a meep meep sound, just like the cartoon character, although it's more like a cooing noise. Do you want to try making a roadrunner sound? <laughs> nice try. Aw, look at our next animal. Some people actually think that these are super, super scary, and other people think that they're cute. Do you know what it is? It's a tarantula. Tarantulas may look scary, but they are mostly harmless to humans. Their big, hairy bodies are actually quite soft. Some tarantulas can flick tiny hairs from their bodies when they feel threatened. These hairs can irritate a predator's skin or eyes. That doesn't sound like a really fun experience. I would definitely not want to mess with the tarantula. However, as long as you don't harm it, it won't harm you back. Tarantulas are also really interesting because they don't build typical spider webs, but instead they make small burrows in the ground where they actually live. Tarantulas can actually also be pets and many people in the United States and other countries own them. Would you want a pet tarantula? Whoa, do you hear that sound? What do you think it is? It's the sound of a rattlesnake's rattle. Rattlesnakes have a really cool way of moving. They slither sideways across the sand and leave a beautiful, unique trail. The rattling noise at the end of their tail warns other animals to stay away, just like a built-in alarm system. Rattlesnakes are also super cool because they have small, special scales on their bodies that help them grip the sandy desert ground just like little desert cleats. This helps them a lot because sand is actually really slippery for snakes. And having these little scales help rattlesnakes navigate and move around the desert. Without these scales, it would be really, really hard for snakes to move around. Just like a tarantula, a lot of people are really scared of snakes. However, rattlesnakes are mostly harmless. But be careful, this doesn't mean that all snakes are safe. 
Some snakes have venom, which can really, really harm a person. Speaking of being able to harm a person, look at our next animal. Do you know what it's called? It's a scorpion. Scorpions are like nighttime ninjas of the desert because they only come out when it's dark. Scorpions are also super interesting because they use their pincers to catch prey. They have a giant stinger at the end of their tail that they also use to defend themselves and paralyze their food. Scary, right? I would definitely not want to mess with a scorpion. Another super cool fun fact about scorpions is that some scorpions actually glow in the dark under UV light, making them look even more mysterious. Another super crazy fact about scorpions is that they were around long before the first dinosaurs. This means that they are actually older than dinosaurs. Isn't that crazy? The venomous tail on the back of a scorpion is called a barb. Isn't that a funny word? Even though scorpions are a little bit scary due to their venom, I still think they're super cool desert animals. Our next animal is not scary at all. Look at it, isn't it cute? It's called a fennec fox. Unlike regular foxes, a fennec fox lives in the desert. Its sand color fur helps it blend in with this environment. Also, if you haven't noticed, fennec foxes have the biggest ears of any fox. These ears help them hear tiny, tiny sounds within the desert, like insects underground. That's really impressive. I can't imagine hearing insects crawling. They're also just like acrobats. They can jump super, super high and run really fast in the desert sand. Fennec foxes also have fur on their feet to keep them cool in the hot sand. The fur on their feet form a protective layer that prevents them from burning their own feet. Have you ever stepped on a super hot surface? Yeah, it's not a great feeling. Thankfully, fennec foxes have things to prevent that feeling from ever happening to them. Overall, I think fennec foxes are super, super smart and super cute. Our next animal is a really, really interesting animal. It's a desert tortoise. Desert tortoises are slow but steady. They can live for a really, really long time, sometimes even over 80 years. When they get scared or feel threatened, they hide inside their hard shells to stay safe. They also eat desert plants and get most of their water from the food they eat, so they don't need to drink that much water. For example, many desert tortoises eat cactuses, which are actually full of water, which allow them to live without drinking water. Their special shells also allow them to live in the desert. Most desert tortoises are brown or yellow colored, which matches the environment they live in. These turtles are also a little bit lazy. They are inactive most of the year and spend much of their life in burrows and rock shelters to regulate body temperature and reduce water loss. Whoa, look at our next animal. Have you seen one of these before? It's called a kangaroo rat. Kangaroo rats are like little gymnasts. They can jump really far and even up to nine feet using their strong back legs. They are also excellent at conserving water, which is a super important trait for a desert animal. Similar to tortoises, they hardly ever need to drink because they get enough moisture from their food. Kangaroo rats also store seeds within their burrows, like a pantry full of snacks for later. Similar to the other desert animals, kangaroo rats are often brown and yellow, which lets them blend in with their environment. They have really long tails and big hind feet with four toes. And also they have large heads with big eyes and small ears. Based on their jumping abilities, can you guess why they're called a kangaroo rat? It's because they walk with their two hind legs and are really, really good at jumping, similar to a kangaroo. How interesting and cute. Whoa, look at our next animal. It's so cool and pretty spiky too. It's called a horned lizard. Horned lizards are masters of disguise. They can actually change their colors to match the sand and hide from predators, similar to a chameleon. They also have super, super spiky scales on their bodies that make them look tough. 
but they are actually gentle and only eat ants. Horned lizards come in plenty of different shapes and sizes. Some of them can be super tiny, or some of them can be the size of a human hand. They are named the horned lizard due to the two horns found on top of their heads. Its horns actually help it blend in with the sparse vegetation of the land. Isn't that cool? Thank you so much for making it this far. I hope you had fun learning about desert animals. Your last challenge is to click like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for doing so. See you on the next adventure!